back to Miss Survival, episode 6. Oh, it's been a while. <laughs> Even though I did just release a video, I have tried to record a couple times. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff in these cabinets, and I got a couple extra cabinets and, and stuff like that. So, I tried to record the other day, and it wouldn't record, it crashed, so I lost all that information. And then... Yesterday I recorded and for some reason it was the picture was all funky it was like shadowed and and stuff and what I had done is I had hit a, the wrong setting on the OBS so we're back in it today and it all recorded fine and got it edited so we are on our way out we've got one more tire to find to get our truck up and running and we did manage to get a bunch of axes and, and a couple backpacks and a couple of the episodes that unfortunately got lost. But today we're going to see what we can find. Okay, let's see. We got, this is one of the little camps. I know this, I've hit this one before, but hey, look at We got another backpack. That's awesome. The more space, the better. Makes it for, a lot better for running around gathering stuff instead of trying to carry a suitcase or something with which sometimes I do but once I get the truck I'll be able to load that up with the different containers and, and stuff to store stuff in so when we go out on a trip for the day away from the house we will be able to haul more we're gonna eat some of this food and get ourselves filled up drink some water which we did uh, I have a hard time remembering what exactly I had built last time I was actually able to upload um, I've got the water distiller and I've got the water tank so I was able to gather water which I think I did get that in the last episode okay I know I've hit this house off to the side here too Um, yeah. What? He's not supposed to. They, uh, they usually run back. Oh, jeez. Okay, he's staying in the jail. I don't... Okay, are we gonna get him? Okay, whew. Um, yike. They usually run back into the house after a little bit. I don't know if it was glitching or what, because well, my, my character was walking backwards uncontrolled for some reason so I don't know if it was a, a bug or what but he almost got me I didn't even realize I was down quite as much energy as I was or health as I was I'll try to <laughs> big sign on the side says stop I don't know if that means stop where you're at and don't go any farther <laughs> which probably would be the best thing to do. Let's go look up here real quick. Can't, I think I've come up here before. Oh, there's a tower. Oh, okay, that little eyeball, if you ever see that, that means that the, it's an encampment that somebody, is a sniper, has spotted you, so we're not going over there right now. Okay, this is a small building that we've already gone in, so we're going to bypass that. And we were, this is the, okay, this is the lumber camp where we went past the very first day. And then we've got the other lumber camp on our left up here that we did not go into. But, oh, okay, wait a minute, we've got, that's the red, one of the big red barns. I know there's two of them, at least there was last time I played, uh, but there's one that's got, it's full of zombies, and then there's one that's empty, that a lot of people usually set up their camps in. Let's head inside here, if there's no zombies, cautiously going in. <laughs> ah, we would hear some groaning if there was. There's usually pretty good stuff spread out through the on the floor in here, so I'm gonna 
go around and gather up some stuff. We got our toolkit, we got some scrap. And there's upstairs in here too, another toolkit. There's usually some pretty good stuff upstairs too, but I'm gonna hit down here first. It's a pretty good place to set up camp or base too, because you can build a lot of the houses and buildings inside of here and just build walls at the doors. There's a few side doors, and then there's the, the two big main doors. A couple things of fabric, that's good. Not really picking up the bottles yet. Not really too much use for them. Not as of this point. I will probably start picking some up eventually. Now that I'm getting more backpack space, I have more room to carry stuff. Uh, can't search that. Okay, we're good. We got some canned fruit. And some revolver. I don't have it, the revolver yet. I've got the 9mm. Let's head over this side. That's a gas can. I don't need another. I've already got two gas cans. And some more bullets. Aha! Yes! Another backpack. That's what I like to see. I need another tire. All I need is one more. I have the rest of the truck put together already. I got the spark plugs. Or the spark plug and three tires. The battery. And I've got quite a bit of gas in the, in the truck already too. So once we get the next tire, it'll be good. Let's head upstairs. There's a suitcase there. That'll be good. Oh, good. A riot helmet. That'll definitely help. It'll defend against any getting hurt a little bit with something attack, which I need some pants. <laughs> I didn't realize I didn't have any pants on. Yeah, sorry, I had to get a drink of water. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna bring this with. It's kind of awkward, but it'll make so I have a lot more, not a ton more, but more space to carry stuff. I don't really plan on going back to the cabin very quickly. Okay, good. There's a couple, like a couple cokes there. There, oh, okay. There's a candy bar. That'll be good. A couple cokes. We're gonna have that, and we're gonna throw this stuff inside the suitcase. That way we can grab stuff as we see it instead of transferring over as we pick it up. It just saves some time. And we drop the suitcase down because it can't really can't carry it as you go down. Even though you can be carrying your sword and or your like I've got the machete and as you can see I have magic powers and like this is a, a Star Wars game. It's you're a Jedi. You can use the force and hold your suitcase up. <laughs> okay, we got a shovel. I think uh, I've never actually used the farming before. Because uh, I think last time I played, I don't even know if it was implemented yet. But I'm pretty sure that's what the shovel is going to be for. Is for farming. Take a look around outside here. Uh, nothing there. Sometimes there's stuff in the backs of trailers, which there's not in that one. Okay, okay, there's the toolkit. Scrap and some duct tape. Some more scrap and some more duct tape. That's good. We're gonna. Okay, there's another scrap. Uh, and another toolkit. That car, I tried breaking it down, but it, it's not one that can be broke down. So I, and. 
so I kind of just skipped over that as I was swinging at a car that wouldn't break. <laughs> I like doing the voiceover because when I I, w I have tried to record as I was playing, but the it makes it hard to adjust the background noise noises and your voice noise volumes. So by doing voiceover, I, I'm able to get the volume of the, my voice up above the sounds of the of that's around you. So you can hear me all the time. <laughs> Back, uh, that thing we just passed was a saw, a table saw, and that's something you can build also inside of your houses. So I'll be, hey, yes, we got ourselves a tire. Got everything we need to get our truck up and going. Now we'll just make our way back to the house. Okay, this place has got quite a bit of rooms in it, so we're going to explore this before we head back. Toolkit? A bunch of bottles. Uh, yeah, we're going to pick them up. We're heading back anyways, so... Might as well have them, because all of a sudden we're going to build some that we need them, and we're going to be like, okay, I passed on, like... 20 of them already, and now I need them. <laughs> Finding a lot of fabric, too. That's good. I don't know what exactly if we can build, make clothes. I'll have to look into that, too. Okay, there's an upstairs. So I'm not hearing any, any groaning or anything like that, so I know there's no zombies in any of these buildings. Unless they're being quiet. <laughs> Which usually they're not. That car is one that you can break down, but I'm not going to take the time right now to break it down. Head upstairs. Yeah, there's nothing inside there right now. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, some duct tape. Batteries that I'm not picking up yet, because I, I still don't know what they're for. <laughs> I don't know if that, now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if that case is something we can look in, but I know I didn't really try it. Hmm. Funny how, as you're doing the voiceover, sometimes you see stuff that you missed. It's like, no, I want to go back. <laughs> with all the problems I've been having with the recording, it, yeah, no backtracking. <laughs> funny because it was working fine and then all of a sudden I, I think it was because uh, something updated or something and I tried doing uh, the I've got a 1060 and it uh, had updated drivers and when I tried doing them it's messed up the DaVinci for my editing but then the OBS needed the driver, so it, it was all screwy. So I'm thinking that's why I was having so much trouble. But I, I still kind of just left it. So I'm hoping that something got worked out somewhere. I tried upgrading back to the, the new updated drivers, but when I did... The Da Vinci came up and said these drivers are found to be incompatible or something like that. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna throw some of this stuff in the suitcase because we want to be able to pick up those scraps. Boards. I really don't pick up boards because that's something you could build very easily. It's the toolkits and the scrap metal that you need for building a lot of stuff and. Okay, here's an axe. We're going to take the axe and we're going to drink up one of those coats. That'll give us a spot that we need. Okay, we're, yeah. Yeah, we can fit that. That's why once you've been away from the house for a long time, you start getting to where you're 
out of space and you're like, okay, I need something to something to drop. Yeah, it was only two matches, so but we want that sewing kit. That would probably be something we need for if we're gonna make clothes, which I need pants. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> At least it looks like it's nice weather out. I'm not running around in my underwear and it's super cold or something. Which I prefer in real life anyways. I like cold weather a lot better than hot. Let's see what we got in here. Okay. Got the room for it, so we'll take it. Leave the booze because we don't really have the space for that. A little more gas, that'll be good. Seeing now we can uh, use our truck once we get back to our house. It's not been a a mist for a couple days. It was two days now, I think. Because those two records ago that I was trapped up on top of a, a camper and had like five zombies around me. And that was one of the ones that was the episode that crashed on me. It was, it was a really good one too. I found two backpacks and I found and I, I got trapped up on the on the trailer with five zombies around me and I got a bear came after me and <laughs> it was like no I was right I was just about ready to turn stop recording too and I was gonna upload but it crashed just as I was getting ready to hit save or hit stop record so it would have saved it but we've got our truck put this fuel in here see we got pretty good fuel so that'll last us a while. We'll keep picking it up as we go along when we need more. Okay, I'm going to park the truck. I'm going to pull it out of here. I don't know. If, do I want to put it in the garage or do I want to park it in front of the gate? Headlights on, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, no, we're gonna park in front of the front, front of the gate. It, it, it'll be nice if we need to get if we need to go somewhere quick. We can just run right out the door instead of going and opening the garage up. And, and I don't think the zombies attack the truck unless you're in it. At least I hope. <laughs> oh no, I gotta turn the lights off. Yeah, it's a battery. I don't. I, can't remember if that was a hundred percent battery, but we don't want to take. Even if it is a hundred percent, I don't want to be wasting. Okay, let's get this suitcase inside. Got a lot of stuff in the suitcase, which is nice. And I'm working on the. I got the um, food drying rack, and I've got some meat on it that from that bear I had killed. They got the drying rack. I've got the water distiller. I've got the grill with the griddle on the campfire. See, my health is still down, but it won't let me treat anything, so I think I'll just be from sleeping will help. I'm gonna save it real quick. That way, if it does crash, then we don't <laughs> lose everything here and there, so. Okay, it's water bottles, we can fill those up. Get those filled up real quick. Now that we got a lot of stuff, we'll be able to start building more. I built a wall at the back of uh, the back of the house in front of one of the windows, one of the big walls. Plus I built the fencing between to block that alley between the garage and the house so they don't get to those windows I put up a fence there too so okay we're gonna kill something to eat drink and we'll end the episode there I do really appreciate you sticking with me through the through the episode you have a great day